Now, I know this video is probably a little late, but recently I had the realization that around this time of year or on birthdays or weddings, many people feel obliged to buy and receive physical gifts for people who probably already have everything that they could possibly need. But we can't deny the fact that sometimes a good gift can be life altering simply because you're introduced to something that you never knew existed. So I thought I'd share with you today some of my favorite items that I personally love and use all the time, which are gifts that I don't think are all that common and they're probably less likely to end up in someone's gift graveyard, which I think everybody has but never really talks about. The designer in me can't help but get excited about well-designed products with a beautiful minimalist aesthetic. This little thing is a white noise machine from a company called Yoga Sleep. I don't really need to reiterate the fact that sleep is important and everyone should know that a lack of sleep is linked to things like a shortened lifespan, poor concentration, weight gain and a weakened immune system. So it's needless to say that it's important that you stay on top of your sleep. Most of us need between seven to nine hours of sleep each night, but according to the Sleep Foundation, about 35% of adults don't really reach this number. And to be honest, I'm kind of not surprised. The sounds of obnoxious motorcycles, birds and neighbours can all too easily disrupt our precious sleep cycles, often without us really realising it. And this is where this little beauty comes in. Essentially, all it is is a small speaker that plays white noise, which is a low rumble that basically masks out all the other noises around you, so your brain essentially just tunes everything out, making it almost like listening to silence. So as a light sleeper, this thing was absolutely game-changing. From a minimalist viewpoint, I was kind of skeptical about these things for ages because I have a phone that's more than capable of playing white noise, and I also have an air purifier that essentially does the same thing, but I found out that they're not really loud enough to drown out things like closing doors or loud vehicles, and even on my fairly new iPhone, which is quite loud, the high frequencies can be a little bit jarring. The white noise on my phone sounds a little something like this. This little white noise machine, on the other hand, sounds a bit more like this. And it also gets really loud without being jarring to listen to, and it also has a super impressive battery life too. We generally leave ours plugged in overnight, and we love it simply because it's just so inconspicuous and powerful, and I can't really wait to bring this along with me next time I travel, because it's just so small, and it may save me some precious sleep next time I'm stuck in some noisy accommodation. I know that sleep trackers and smartwatches seem to be a common gift this time of year, and even though I think that tracking is useful, I think that things that actually improve your sleep may be better gifts still. This next item is an SD card reader for your iPhone. Not too long ago, I upgraded to the iPhone 12 mini simply because I wanted a better camera to capture those precious moments with our baby daughter. And despite smartphone video being so good these days, pulling 4K footage off iPhones in particular is an absolute nightmare. But this device solves all of these problems. Because it's USB one end and lightning the other, it works both ways. So all you do is plug it into your iPhone and send the files to your SD card from your camera roll. And then you can take it out and plug the USB end into your computer or laptop. And of course, if you need to transfer anything from your PC back to your phone, like files or video, you can also transfer it the same way too. This thing is just super handy and I personally think it's crucial for anyone with an iPhone and especially those who are starting to take content creation a little bit more seriously and don't really want their phone clogged up with all of that 4K footage. Back to the subject of a lack of sleep. This tiny little contraption is a digital thermometer that we blue tack to our wall. These things are stupidly cheap and simple, but if you're taking your sleep a little bit more seriously, getting your temperature right is also a huge factor in optimizing your rest. The optimal sleeping temperature for adults is actually between 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit and 69 degrees Fahrenheit for babies, and seeing as I'm now a parent, this is something that I've had to start thinking about. Although our main incentive was to get this to make sure that our daughter isn't overheating at night, I wish that I'd got one of these things sooner, as we've often realised that we're way off with our estimation of what the temperature actually is, and there really is nothing worse than waking up in the middle of the night, either too hot or too cold. 
hold. So having one of these makes sure that you stay on top of it, especially if you're stuck with only radiators in a leaky home like ours. I'm not really sure if this is the most exciting of gifts, but paired with a white noise machine and some blackout blinds, digital thermometers are kind of awesome. Of course, a gift guide would not be complete without some recommendations for EDC. Bellroy, who are my favorite wallet company of all time, actually reached out to sponsor this video and hooked me up with one of their new Apex Slim Sleeve wallets, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I believe that their wallet designs are the best part none, and this one has a stitchless design so it's fully flush when closed, and of course it has my favorite feature I think that a wallet can have, which is magnets, so it snaps satisfyingly shut and then just requires a small pinch to open. This particular this particular design lets you fit up to 8 cards and folded bills, but they have a ton of options for people who like carrying coins or business cards too. Of course, the leather quality is fantastic and it's going to age beautifully, and you'll be pleased to know that all of their leather comes from gold rated tanneries that are rated for excellence in their environmental and labour practices too. I've been rocking their products for a long time now, which some of you may know if you've seen my minimalist EDC video, but besides wallets, they also do a bunch of other products like bags bags, sleeves and tech pouches, like this one that I'm currently using for all of my wires, camera batteries and chargers in this little YouTube studio. Bellroy have actually been kind enough to hook us up with 10% off any purchase on their website using the link in my description below, so definitely go and check them out, as they're easily one of the most inspiring companies when it comes to squeezing maximum functionality and beautiful aesthetics out of simple and everyday products. This little adapter is from a company called iBlockCube and it just does everything. It's labelled as a travel adapter, but it's just so practical that it has a permanent spot in our bedroom. Any plug that you throw at this thing, it's got you covered. And if you need a USB port, it's got not one, but four, and a USB-C port too. And of course, because its main selling point is as a plug adapter, it frees up the socket space too for your laptop, hair straighteners, or whatever else you choose to throw at it. We quite literally charge all of our electronics off this thing, and when we need to travel, it just comes along with us too. We've been finding that when the products you use every day are compact and designed for travel, it just makes everything easier as you just bring what you usually use at home along with you too. In short, that's why items like these are just so good, as they do nothing more and nothing less. They're just pure utility in an easy to use and efficient package, and I think that's what makes a great product. The next item on this list is a Kindle Reader. This item I actually received as a gift from my beautiful wife, and I absolutely love it. The well-known entrepreneur and thinker Naval Ravikant is known to have said, it's not about educated versus uneducated, it's about likes to read and doesn't like to read, and I think that he raises a good point. Expanding our knowledge through reading can open so many doors for us, but learning to enjoy reading is definitely not something that came naturally to me, so getting one of these was huge in helping me to get the ball rolling. This is because owning a Kindle makes essentially any book you can think of immediately accessible, and they're perfect for building the habit of reading before going to bed, as they don't have anything else on them to distract you but books. These things feel like books too, as the pages are matte and non-reflective like paper, and they work with the backlight off too, which completely takes blue light and reflections out of the equation. It also helps that the battery lasts an eternity, and they're super lightweight, which is great if you're choosing to read whilst horizontal, and it lets you highlight without a pen, and then organise or copy your highlights for quick reference too, as it links everything with the Kindle app on all of your other devices. Hands down, this thing is the perfect gift for anyone looking to build a reading habit. I'm going to make this next one brief, but it's an AeroPress. Seriously, at this point, this thing is as much of an essential in the kitchen as a knife and fork, as it remains for me the fastest and most convenient way to make proper coffee. It tastes way better than a French press, but requires less time and accuracy than a pour over. It's basically indestructible, portable, and easy to clean, and it's honestly one of my most used items, and it costs under 30 quid. If you know anyone who still drinks instant coffee, get them one of these. Nuff said. 
This is my beloved Moleskine planner. I'm actually running out of space with mine as we're reaching the end of the year now, which is why it's probably great timing for a gift. I personally can't think without getting my thoughts down on paper, and seeing as nothing seems to get done if I don't plan for the day ahead, this thing is now crucial for my workflow. This kind of layout combines the structure of a calendar with the freedom of a blank page, and I still can't seem to find anything digital or otherwise that beats it. Plus, it also helps that it looks and feels great too, which makes it a joy to use and a pretty great gift. If you're interested in how I use mine, be sure to check out my journaling video and you'll probably get an idea of why I just love this thing so much. For content creation of any kind, storage is crucial, especially with video sizes being incredibly large these days. You often need that extra portable storage or simply a backup of your files in case things go wrong. And for this, you want reliability and speed, two things that traditional spinning hard drives don't really do that well. SSDs, on the other hand, have no moving parts, so they're way more durable and they're blazing fast, to the point where I can seamlessly edit footage directly off the drive, which almost makes it feel like a part of my computer. Unfortunately, they're also very expensive, with this 2TB drive costing me £315 last year. What I discovered though is that there's actually a great hack to get around these baked-in drives, as the hardware company Sabrent now do really good NVMe drive enclosures, which are essentially cases for the proper solid-state drives that are installed in many modern computers and laptops. This original hardware is cheaper and it also provides you the flexibility to install it into a computer down the line or simply swap them in and out, making them more likely to be sustainable too. And for only 30 to 40 pounds for the enclosures, these may make really flexible and future-proof solutions for any tech enthusiast or anyone simply needing some extra disk space. So I know that when I run out of space on my current drives, this is probably the route that I'll be taking. Finally, the last item on this list is a tripod. Honestly, if you've got a friend or family member interested in content creation but not quite ready to splurge on a quality camera, I believe that a tripod is the best entryway into becoming a better content creator as this is what my studio looks like when recorded on a tripod using my wife's Pixel 4 XL, which we picked up refurbished for under 300 quid at just the start of this year. This goes to show that really anyone can get involved in content creation with just the camera in their pocket, as smartphones are just so capable these days and it really helps to understand that really, the things to focus on investing in are good sound and lighting. But in order to get the ball rolling, the one thing that you need is a tripod. And I know that without my first tripod, I definitely wouldn't even be here doing what I do today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and liked some of the stuff on this list. Do you need everything on this list? Probably not. But if you're in a last minute gift giving predicament, hopefully this video saved you from buying a lot of the junk that generally gets sold around this time of year. And if not, I hope you just enjoyed hanging out and seeing some of the products that I personally love and use all the time. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.